Hello the internet and welcome back to Tony259, Tony 359's second channel. Today on the bench I have a tool I would like to show you, it's the third hand, it's called the Omnifix, so this is version 4.2 and uh, I've got this tool for free, but this time not by the manufacturer, but uh, by a good friend of mine. So you know who you are, thank you very much for this, I really like it, and yes, I really like it, so I thought I'd like to show it to my audience. Now, first thing first, this is the Omnifix of 4.2, and I understand that now you can purchase 4.4, uh, but I got in touch with the uh, manufacturer, well, the designer, Johan Zita from Sweden. Hi, Johan. And he explained me that 4.4 is more or less the same. And it's, uh, there's a little, some tighter tolerances, bits and bobs, and I think there is a case that allows you to install this vertically. But when it comes to the basic functionalities, the, the tool is more or less the same. So uh, it's not too much of a difference with the latest version. Now, I don't have a third hand. Actually, I think I have one or two, one of those uh, horrible, very cheap ones. And I'll find a picture and put it uh, on screen right now. And I never use them because they, they tip over. Uh, they're a nightmare to align. Whenever you align something, something moves around. They come with alligator clips and those usually damage everything. If you wanna uh, clip some small wires like this, the wire usually ends up, falls up uh, in between the, the teeth. It's, it's not great. I never use them to the point where I don't really know where they are in my lab and what I usually do I just chase things on my on my mat here with my soldering iron they keep moving around it's a nightmare uh, so I've been thinking of buying one of these but there's quite a few online and you start looking it's difficult to make a decision you want to buy a good one the good ones are expensive then you go on AliExpress and you see something that looks fantastic but then you look at reviews and you realize that some of them are junk and obviously when it comes to this if it's not a good tool it's not precise it's pointless you're never going to use it and it goes in your junk drawer somehow so I took it home, I started playing with it, and I realized I really like it. It's really precise. So I'm gonna show you what features I like most, and I'll give you a quick overview uh, of the whole functionalities here. The tool is very simple. It comes with a metal base and some soft rubbery feet at the uh, bottom, so it doesn't go anywhere. Ignore the fact that this is my silicon mat, but it doesn't go anywhere uh, regardless of the material. And then you have four clamps, and these are simple, but very special in my opinion. The yellow part is magnetic, it detaches from the clamp, and there's an important feature with this. Uh, there is a little rubber dot here in the middle, so there is some extra friction added by this rubber dot that allows for some little extra precision and friction when you're moving the clamps away. And I'll show you in a minute why this is really important. The clamp itself is very well made, there's very little play here. It opens quite a lot, I think it goes up to 14 millimeter. And most importantly, the jaws are parallel. They're not like crocodiles or anything like touching only at the, at the tip. And this can clamp absolutely everything. The tip of the clamps are covered with a silicone tube, which can be removed, and I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, but the clamp um, strength is pretty high, and again, it clamps absolutely everything. You can clamp, I have here a DB25, for example. I mean, you can clamp this whole thing if you want it. I'm not sure this is what you want to do, but it gives you quite a lot of flexibility. It clamps absolutely everything. I really like the flexibility that this gives you. Now, the main feature of this tool, in my opinion, is that the um, absolute precision of the movement. So, uh, usually when you have like one of those cheap um, third hands, you try and move the, the, the clamps, the jaws, and they just never stay where you leave them. The moment you remove your hands, they just move away a little bit. So if you're trying to solder like two wires together, uh, it takes a little bit of time because they will never end up the way you left them. They just move away a little bit. The way these are manufactured because of that little uh, rubbery dot to the bottom and the magnetic construction, uh, whenever you remove your hand, these just stay where they are. They there's no kickback. They don't come back, they don't move away, they just stay where they are. And I find this amazing. So let me show you with two wires, for example. I've got these two wires here. Let's say I want to solder them together. It's as simple as just putting them close and just remove your hands. And that's it. As you can see, there's no uh, kickback. The wires are not going anywhere. And you can do that as many times as you want. And the wire and the, the the clamps don't go anywhere. I find this absolutely amazing. Uh, again, my older ones would be absolutely pointless for this, 
that's total stability. This is not moving. These are not sliding. And you can do this as long as you want with new wires, with a, a DB25, with a PCB. It, I, I really love it. I didn't know you could buy something like this, to be honest. And, and, and this is, I think, is the main feature. The fact that these clamps are really, really, really precise. I have a PCB here and I'm using two clamps just for extra stability. If you want to solder this wire into the PCB, it's super simple. Again, the control is amazing. These are uh, just staying where I leave them, as you can see them. It's fantastic. And all I need to do is just to guide the wire into the hole. There you go. They stay there. You, you know, I can move this around. They're not going anywhere. And then I can solder on the other side or, you know, obviously uh, this is for camera purposes and then you can reposition them the way you want it. I just find this absolutely useful and absolutely super extra precise. I really love this feature of this tool. When it comes to what you can do with this tool, I mean, the sky's the limit. It's down to your imagination. I'm using three clamps here for extra stability. As you can see, I mean, th this, is, this is fantastic. I love this amount of control. And again, the PCB, as you can see, doesn't kick back, it doesn't move when I leave my hand. It's, it's just amazing. I really love this part. I really love the uh, quality of construction and the, the uh, ingenuity behind the construction of these clamps. It's absolutely amazing. Opening and closing the jaws is really easy. Uh, it really takes a moment. The mechanism is pretty precise. There's very little play. Uh, it feels like um, quality design and quality materials. Um, so it's, it's been, I've been using it for a little while and it's, it's a pleasure to use it, to solder, to align things, to um, inspect things, even to inspect the PCB that you can see from different angles. Uh, I, I really like the construction, the way it's constructed. The other day when I was shooting the Onkyo video, I needed my iPhone to uh, look at the front of the Onkyo. I don't have a small um, phone holder, so I decided to use this and it ended up working pretty well. I mean, the, the iPhone tends to be a bit on the uh, on the uh, heavy side for this, but as you can see, I used these four clamps in a kind of a, an orthodox way and it's working, obviously. It's not, uh, it's not a holder, it's not doing exactly the same thing, but it's working totally fine and that's how I shot the, uh, the part where you see the front of the Onkyo. Again, I, I was looking for a tool for a holder or something and I thought, well, I can use this one and uh, you can reposition things around and, and do whatever you want. So, yeah, I mean, again, the sky's the limit when it comes to what you can do with the PCBs, with your wires, with your connectors or with anything. Obviously, to allow the amount of precision that you get from these clamps, the amount of weight the clamps can withstand uh, is not unlimited. So when it comes to the iPhone, for example, I mean, they, they can't just uh, hold the whole iPhone with just two clamps. But again, it's, it's there and you can play with them and do whatever you want. I find this useful even just to solder on a PCB like this, instead of soldering on your desk or something and things might uh, just roll around when you move them or whatever. You just stick in here and there you go, you got something, you can align it wherever you want with extreme precision. So this is just great. I think having parallel jaws, it's, it's a really good idea. It works really well with these small wires and it gives you flexibility and, and precision without damaging the, uh, the wire at all. So I'm um, absolutely impressed by that. Now, there are a few extra features with this tool, and one is this position of the clamps. So you can basically rest them on, uh, on their back, and this way they can hold, they can withhold uh, much more weight. So you might have a heavier um, PCB, for example, or a heavier component, and this way the whole clamp is resting on the base. So you have a little bit of uh, extra strength. Another feature is that you can stack these uh, clamps uh, one on top of each other. Uh, I'm not sure how much this could be useful, but it's, it's an option. It's, it's an option that you can use and um, it might be useful to some projects, some PCB, some wires or something. The uh, yellow uh, part is actually fitting on top of the, uh, the, the other clamp. So it, it just fits nice and solid and it magnetically attaches to the rest of the clamp. At the top of the jaws here, there's a little um, hole here, and this is called the pin holder. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of that is, but uh, to be honest, you can use it with a wire. If you're soldering a wire or something, you can slide it in and, and it gives you a little bit more precision. Obviously, you need to make sure that the uh, rest of the wire here is, is free, because when you solder it, you need to slide it that way. But yeah, that's another little feature that you can have. And the extra holes and tabs on this uh, clamp, I understand they're just for modding, uh, flexibility, you might want to connect something to it and I'll show you in a minute uh, why this is actually a pretty interesting idea. And as you can imagine this tool is perfect for soldering PCBs and all the PCBs that you've seen throughout the video they were manufactured by PCBways for my project. 
If you need a PCB for one of your projects, well then PCBWay is your stop. Once you find the Gerber file of your project, all you need to do is to upload the file on PCBWay.com. The system is more or less automatic. I tend to change the color of my PCB, as you can see from here. And then all you need to do is to uh, select a postal service and PCBWay will deliver the PCBs at your place. 3D printing, metal sheet fabrication and CNC machining are some of the other services that PCBWay can offer to you. So plenty of choice, take a look at PCBWay.com for all the services that are available and let me thank PCBWay for sponsoring my videos on my channels because their help makes these videos possible. So thank you very much PCBWay. Now let's continue with this amazing tool, the OmniFixo. Now you might have noticed this little circle here and also this uh, part here. These are um, non-treated, so this is like a uh, conductive part. And what you can do here, uh, the yellow part is normally insulated from the base. So when you attach them like this, you don't have um, conductivity with, with the metal base, but you can actually attach them the other way around. And if you attach them the other way around, then the metal part of the base is actually going to touch the uh, the base of the Omnifixer. And if you put this here, now suddenly your uh, it clicks in place, as you can see, it doesn't go anywhere. Now your clamp here is electrically connected to the base. So what I've done here, I've got the base of the Omnifixer connected to ground from my power supply here. And uh, the uh, this um, clamp here is connected the other way around. So it's electrically connected to this little circle here. So it clicks in place and now this is connected to ground. This one is connected to the plus lead. And uh, if you are a bit less lazy than myself, you can actually make your own cable uh, because the top of the clamp here is actually fitting one of these connectors here. So for you know, if you need to do this very often, you can do that. I've got a green LED here. And as you can see, when I'm uh, clamping the other leg of the LED, it just turns on. So <laughs> you can use this setup if you are testing something, testing a small PCB, testing LEDs. You can use this to solder LED strips, for example. And if you have your uh, your power coming to the uh, the base itself, you can actually do the test in here. You don't need to bring power and connect it on the LED. I, I think, you know, this is uh, probably not everybody's going to use this, but <laughs> it's just a genius from my point of view. It's just so simple that you can do this. And it seems to be working totally fine. And again, still while having the same uh, accuracy in movement and in positioning of these clamps, it's it's absolutely, absolutely amazing. But I think the main feature of this tool is just the flexibility given by the, the extra clamps and the uh, absolute precise positioning. Again, you can clamp things the way you want, the way you need. And honestly, again, like in this case, you know, soldering wire is, wires is going to be absolutely so simple, so precise. You see, I'm just changing um, position so easily and it stays there. It would have, with, with my other tool, the, 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 the chip one, it would have taken, taken me forever to do something like this and I'm doing it while I'm talking uh, to a camera. So absolutely, absolutely impressed. The sky's the limit and this is really, really a precise and accurate tool. Now, one thing you might want to keep in mind is that this tool is only 16 by 9 centimeters, so it's pretty small. It's perfect for small connectors, small PCBs, small projects. Uh, if you need something bigger, probably this is not for you. I believe there is a smaller version of this, but I don't think there is a bigger one. Another feature of this tool is the low mode and it allows you to have like a PCB, for example, uh, very close to the base. So all you need to do is just to flip the clamp around. It will attach to the magnet anyways. like this. And now you can use this to attach your PCB uh, for whatever reason you might need to do, whatever you need to do. I don't know, to be honest, but it's uh, it's a little extra feature. And there you go, you got the PCB is very stable here. Obviously this is not going anywhere. The magnets are pretty uh, st strong and the Omnifix is not going anywhere. So it's another little feature that allows you to position components, for example, or whatever you need to do. It's a feature there and you might want to use it or you might not. And as I said in my intro, the 4.4 version of this tool comes with a field box, uh, which can be used to store all the clamps, uh, but uh, also allows this tool, uh, this all omen fixer to be fixed vertically, which I think is a good idea. You might need it. Who knows? It's just an extra thing that comes with version 4.4. This is just version 4.2. 
So all in all, I really like this tool. I really like the way it's made, the accuracy on how it moves things around. And uh, I really feel that I can recommend it. I think that everybody should have something like this on their desk. Uh, I can see online that this tool currently sells for 48 pounds, tax included. Uh, there will be a link down below in the description. Take a look. If you want to see, you know, all the features, maybe better pictures, other photos and descriptions on uh, how this thing works. But I definitely think I can recommend, I'd like to, uh, thank Johan for coming up with this idea and for sharing it with the world, to be honest. Do you already have an Omnifixo? Do you like it? Do you agree with my very enthusiastic review here? I'd be curious to hear what you think about it. So just leave a comment down below. I'd be curious to hear what you like most and maybe there's something you don't like. What I really like most about this thing, and I think you already understood, is just the absolute precision in moving things around. This is just amazing. It will definitely change the way I'm approaching soldering and inspecting things here on my desk from now on. Very short video today to just show you this tool, which I really liked. And if you like the video as well, well, hopefully I can have a thumb up down below and also consider subscribing to this channel and to my main channel if you like this kind of things. Don't forget, I'm also on Patreon if you would like to support my work here. Uh, there's a free tier if you want to join Patreon. If you don't want to join Patreon, I completely understand. Maybe you can buy me a coffee. The link is also down below in the description. If you don't want to buy me a coffee, well, your visit here and uh, your time is important to me, so I appreciate it. Well, that's it for today. I wish you a great day and hope to see you soon here on my channels for my next videos. Thank you very much and goodbye. Bye-bye.